Welcome back to Wild Ireland. So wild boar have been in the news a little bit recently. There was a, a little family of them showed up down in County Kerry. And unfortunately they had to be euthanized. So here at Wild Ireland, we have a family of wild boar that you can see behind me, or to give them their correct term, a sounder of wild boar. And in the wild, wild boar travel in large family groups like you can see behind me now. Our wild boar here are all related. We have mum, Tori, and her six little babies who are no longer little. I'm sure you all remember during lockdown, the first lockdown that these little guys were born here at Wild Ireland and give us all a great big good news story. As you can see, the little baby boars are incredibly cute. A baby boar is known as a boarlet and they are striped just like a humbug sweet and that helps them camouflage in the forest and keeps them safe from predators like wolves, lynx, even a golden eagle might have a go at a little boarlet in the woods. Wild boar of course once were native to Ireland. In fact, they were so common here that the old texts refer to them and state that the wild boar in Ireland were more numerous and more ferocious than anywhere else in Europe. In order to join the Fianna, an ancient band of Irish warriors, a young boy would be sent out into the forest on his own to hunt and kill a wild boar. And if he could do that, he could prove that he was tough enough to join the Fianna. Back then, Ireland was covered in forest and oak trees would have been very common. The wild boar is nature's plow and they plow up the ground beneath the forest and they eat all the bramble and the undergrowth. So when seeds and acorns fall into the freshly plowed ground, they have the ideal conditions to germinate. This makes wild boar a keystone species and they are vital in the regeneration of forests, particularly oak. Wild boar went extinct in Ireland approximately 800 years ago. The reason for this was probably due to overhunting, habitat loss and persecution to make way for farmland. So as you can see behind me, the real wild, wild boar is, a, is quite a small creature unlike the domestic pig. These are the wild ancestor of the domestic pig, don't forget that. But in the 1980s, people started to farm wild boar. It wasn't very profitable because they're quite small animals and they take a long time to mature. So they crossbred them with pigs, creating hybrids that matured faster, got bigger and had larger litters. And this made it more profitable. Inevitably, some of these hybrids escaped into the wild. And this may explain where the Kerry boar came from. It is also possible that they were illegally imported for hunting purposes from mainland Europe. In Ireland now our wolves and our lynx and our bears are gone so the wild boar does not have a predator to control its numbers. They can cause a lot of damage to farmland and they can also spread diseases to domestic pigs. Being a keystone species they are vital in the regeneration of the forest and the ecosystem. Our ecosystem is sadly depleted and out of balance. Sadly, the wild boar is now classed as an invasive species, which means it's very unlikely that we will see wild boar roaming the Irish countryside anytime soon. However, they are a keystone species. They're vital in the regeneration of our forests. So if we are serious about restoring our ecosystems, then the wild boar must be considered a candidate for reintroduction. They're formidable animals. And as you can see, I'm behind the fence here. I do not recommend that anybody approaches a wild boar in the wild. Or indeed any wild animal. Leave them alone. Leave them in their own habitat. And if you leave them alone, they leave you alone. Martin, if you would like to learn more about wild boar, why not come and visit our sounder? or our family of wild boar here at Wild Ireland. And tickets are available in the link down below. And I hope to see you all very soon.